Seven. If you need to free up space on your smartphone, most of us do, and you're an Amazon Prime member, you've got an option for free unlimited photo backups. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how to get it. A lot of yeah. folks are going to Amazon Prime. They like that two-day shipping, That's especially. Right. They do streaming services, and this is just something else they're adding. That's right. This is a product. Actually, they've had it for a while now. Most people just doesn't know that it exists, but that you can actually back up photos from your phone very easily, very quickly, using Prime Photos. And yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have, have Prime and I have never heard of it. So. <laughs> there you go. That's why I'm here. <laughs> all right, so this is one of many backup solutions. We've talked about all other kinds of drives and devices for backing up. And this is one solution, like I said, that's really super convenient to do. So um, the name of the app is called Prime Photos, okay, or Amazon Prime Photos if you want to search for it like that. And um, you set it to backup, and these are some photos that I've backed up to that service. And this is just how easy it is. Once you install the app, just go into it. So this it. is an actual app. This is not going through the Prime no, website. No, no, no. This is using an app on your mobile device. And okay. of course, it's Android or iOS. Okay. okay? Um, and uh, you can go in here to more. And then there's an option up here under settings to say, hey, I want to turn on what's called autosave. And with autosave, if you turn that on, any pictures that you take will be automatically backed up to Amazon's cloud service automatically, which is great and super convenient. Now, a couple things I want to point out. Backup photos using your cellular data. You need to watch out for that because if you have your cellular, if you want to do that over cellular data, make sure you've got an unlimited data plan. Otherwise, don't do it automatically. Do it as a manual backup. Okay. So um, now, when you do that and you back up, let me show you the manual backup real quick as an alternative. So here on the second one, right underneath settings, you can see where it says upload photos and videos. Then you can go in and you can select manually which ones that you want to back up from your camera roll or from your folders. Okay. Okay. Now, once you back up your photos, then you have the choice of um, deleting the photos. You've made a copy to Amazon's cloud service. Those pictures are available via your desktop, via your tablet, okay? Okay, because that's why like, I back up my photos, but I don't ever erase them from my phone in case I want to show somebody one right. of them. So this is not going to totally be off my phone. It's not going to totally be off of your phone. You can actually wipe them out of your camera roll. So they, once they've been backed up, wipe them off your camera roll. But if you go into the photos app, the Prime Photos app, it saves a little thumbnail of it. Okay. So you can actually view it. And it, is, it does take up some storage space, but it doesn't take up nearly as much. Exactly. Right. So that's the point. So this is one of those super convenient, easy things that you can do. I wouldn't use it as your only source for backing up. I'd still do my off-site storage on an external drive that we've talked about. Right. But this is super convenient where you can still have access to your photo and still take up a lot less space and you can do it manually or even automatically. So didn't know you had it? Uh, now you know. Uh, now I'll check it out. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the apps that Francie showcased today, remember just go to WLOS.com and click on Tech Time. All right, sounds good. Thank you.